Kira! Kira! Do you hear me? I don't have much time. What? Who is this? Who are you? You know who I am. Wait. The temporal transfer. That was too powerful. Those dreams you were having? Those aren't from the creature. That was me trying to reach you. What are you talking about? Uh, I'm running out of time. Whatever you do, don't trust Trog. What do you mean, don't trust Trog? Why? They kidnapped me, experimented on me, and after you found out, I used some of my interdimensional energy to transport you to another dimension. But I didn't have enough powers to make it into a full world. Well, I guess that explains why I ended up in a skyblock world and why I don't remember anything. Wait a minute, hold up. You have interdimensional energy? No time to explain. Just stop Trog. Oh, and one more thing. Spread my message. Make the world stronger. Try to assimilate as many people as you can. The Age of Iron will prosper. And that strength always overcomes weakness. Wait a minute. Who are you? What's your name? They call me Eduardo. Okay, okay, you know, I'm, I'm getting sick of these weird dreams, or visions, or whatever. <laughs> oh, what was it this time? Uh, I wish I could remember my dreams, like, all the time after I had them. It's weird, but anyway, uh, okay, so there was a golem. Seemed very familiar, I can't... Okay, so the golem said something about, like, interdimensional transfers, me to a skyblock world... Don't trust Trog. That's that. I definitely remember that. Don't trust Trog. The Age of Iron will prosper. What the heck does that even mean? Also, you want me to assimilate people, which I assume is in the Brotherhood. So, in this book, it talks about uh, the Brotherhood, uh, Great Ed, Testificates, uh, Zombies. Uh, I'm also sure it talks about converting organic beings into golems or something, which, I don't know, seems kind of messed up, but then again, science is really one step away from insanity, so anything could be a little bit messed up nowadays, I guess, <laughs> uh, so, weird though, it's, okay, all this is weird, if Trog, if Trog is up to something, I can't let Trog find out that I'm onto them, I can't, because, if I do, and Trog is up to something, then that's gonna hurt me. Because so far, Trog is fully clad in diamond armor, all enchanted. I mean, so am I, but not with the greatest enchantments. And also, I think Trog has like a witch friend now, so that's, that's gonna be a little bit bothersome. All I have is like one golem manning the shop for me. Okay. Okay, I can't let Trog get on to me by getting so close to figuring out what Trog is up to. I can't let them get on to me. So, uh, I guess whenever I see Trog, I'm just going to pretend that I know nothing. So far, that helped me out, I think. I don't know. I feel I feel like all this has been done before. It's just major deja vu. Oh, wow. It's getting nighttime. Uh, well, I just slept, but okay, I guess I'll just sleep again. Oh, this is just so weird. How's it going, C Army's TRF here, and welcome back to some more Chrono Breach SMP. Am I shaking? Yeah, I'm kind of shaking. I don't know why. So last episode, we built a redstone shop down yonder, and last episode, you could tell by the time lapse, I've been doing some stuff off camera. This was just boring work. You guys would not like to watch that, even in the time lapse. Just me killing spiders, getting bamboo. Luckily, we do have a scaffolding farm. Which did speed some stuff up. But yeah, it's just boring content and that's why I didn't record it. But yeah, I'm building a kingdom. And the reason why my house is outside the kingdom is one, is because, well, I just didn't want to get any more scaffolding. And also trying to, you know, make it look good and just cross, like, boat around the mountain and stuff. It just wouldn't really look that good. But another reason is because, 
Well, the Brotherhood, even though they trust me, and I don't really know why they trust me, they prefer to live with, well, among themselves, and the Golem community. So, yeah, so, you know, even though they do trust me, I mean, I'm not a Golem. I mean, look at me, I'm a shaking zombie, which, Golems hate zombies because, well, you know why, they attack villagers. It's obvious, really, so, yeah, I don't know why they trust me, but they seem to do. So I'm going to help build our community, and hopefully I might gain our trust that way. We also have another thing in mind, though. We had to recruit people to join the Brotherhood. So even though these guys in the server, which, by the way, I'm by myself, so it's going to be a little bit difficult to recruit people by myself if I'm the only one on the server. But so today's episode, we are going to be recruiting people to be part of the Brotherhood. Now, they're not golems, obviously, but, you know, we could always assimilate. It said in the uh, Golem Bible vs. Ed book, made by me in a different universe or something, that golems in the Brotherhood seem to, well, assimilate people, or other beings, doesn't have to be people, be like anything organic and turn them into golems. Now, on one hand, you might think that's some kind of weird... I know, like, a Cyberman from Doctor Who, but on the other hand, it makes sense, you know, like, they want to make the world a better place, a stronger place. And if your skin is made of iron, you know, it's pretty difficult to get hurt. So, yeah, so, we're just doing the world a favor. We're just doing the world a favor here in the Brotherhood. It may not look like that, but keep in mind, we are. So, we need to recruit people. How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to be making a Brotherhood of the Golem Recruitment Center at spawn. I don't really know where, and I don't really know how it's going to look. I'm just doing this all freehand, but I will tell you, our army is going to start growing. Besides Golems, we will have the community of the server, hopefully. You know, they all have a choice, and if they choose wrong, that's on them, you know? But anyway, here's the progress on the wall, so... Yeah, this is uh, a design I'm working on. It looks a little bit bland at the moment. I do like how like uh, this door is like kind of popping out, you know, it's 3D, and I do like the top bit. But I don't know, I feel like it, it needs a little bit more detail, so... Yeah, I'm going to be working on this, maybe off-camera, maybe sometime on-camera. I might do like some time lapses and stuff. It's getting dark. Oh, wow. I just went to sleep, too, so, uh, okay. But, yeah, that's the whole progress on the wall. I might not record it because, again, it's pretty boring work, but I might do some time lapses here and there, maybe, and just integrate them into the video some, you know. But, yeah, I'm just going to go to bed, and uh, I guess we'll start building the Brotherhood Recruitment Center.
It is finally completed. It took me literally the whole night and a little bit of this morning to finally get this done. I am really tired, but finally completed the Brotherhood's Golem Recruitment Outpost. I am, like I said earlier, I just, I'm very tired right now. <laughs> but yeah, we finally got this done. We got a bridge and it's a lighthouse too. I really do like how it looks. The yellow pops and just, I don't know, makes it, makes it look like better. It has like a focal point on it, which I really do like. And at first I didn't really like the whole like, it's hard to explain like the design where it goes in, it comes out, and goes in, it goes out again. At first I didn't really like that, it looked a little bit too boxy, but after I added like the rooms here, and had that like slope right there, it just really ties it all together. So yeah, I just, I really love how this looks, and I'm just amazed that I managed to get this looking this good, very late at the night. <laughs> Hear that, or I'm just dealing with the fact that it looks bad, and I just stopped caring. But yeah, no, it actually does look really good. I really am proud of myself. So yeah, let's just go inside. You know, it's got the sign, the Brother of the Golem Recruitment Outpost. You go inside here, you got, like, the golem you can talk to. You know, man, it's the front desk, got a furnace, got a crouching table, you got a couple barrels. And we got a book. <clears throat> Welcome to the Brotherhood of the Golden Recruitment Outpost. Here you'll be able to join our community. We strive to make the world better and stronger with one golem at a time. Even though our name is officially called the Brotherhood of the Golem, we will welcome anybody who wishes to join. We are more of a fellowship of the golem, but we just keep the name as the Brotherhood for consistency. If you wish to join, then feel free to sign your name in the next page. And as a bonus, everyone, and as a bonus, everybody who joins gets a free golem bodyguard. So yeah, all we have is uh, my name. So yeah, I, I don't expect people to actually join this. It's just here for, uh, well, it's just here, basically. This is like a library down there. It's the front office. It's like a library, you know, you can sit down, you can sleep if you want to, you know, pick up a book and read. Go up here. Just got an empty room right here. But up here is going to be like a bell tower once I find out how to get a bell. I think, I don't think you can craft bells. I think you have to find them in a village. But yeah, right now I just got a lantern there. But hopefully I'll get like a bell and make it to an actual bell tower. It's snowing up here. Ah, I like that. It just snows up here, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, nice. I never noticed that. But, uh, yeah, this is the Golem Outpost, Recruitment, Lighthouse, thing. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, if I, uh, maybe go into spectator mode, give you guys a better look. So, here's how it looks when I'm flying around. Matter of fact, if I just press up one to get rid of the chat, there's snow on top of the roof, too. Oh, that's nice. Snowing on top of the, uh, wall, too, over there, I see. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it's like... I, re I really do like how it looks. I really do like the lighthouse part. That roof up there, though, took me literally... God, like, how many hours it took me to do this? Like, I couldn't figure out, like, what to decide to do with the roof, and I kept having to rebuild it, tear it down, rebuild it, tear it down. Just, oh, this this was just a pain to do. And, yeah, I just settled on this one. It doesn't look bad. Originally, I was trying to do, like, a wizard tower, like, make it very pointed upwards and stuff, make, make it very tall, but it just never really turned out looking so good, so... Yeah, I really do like that sign, though. It looks nice, you know. It got, like, the A-frame and then, like, a... I don't know what they call it, this part, but... You know, not the A-frame, but, like, a cone, I guess, or something, or a pyramid. But, uh, yeah, anyway, this is the Lighthouse Golem Outpost Recruitment Center thingy-mabobber. I really don't really know an official name. I guess just the Brother of the Golem Recruitment Outpost. I guess that's, like, a good official name for it. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. And also... If I go over to my, also if I go over to my, like, kingdom, village, whatever I'm going to be calling this area, I do have another portal here, and at first I didn't really like how boxy it looked, especially the, like, entrance to nether, just, I don't know, it looked a little bit too square, and I was thinking of making it bigger, 
but that requires me moving the portal in another, I'm pretty sure, and I just honestly can't be bothered, so this doesn't look too bad, I think, and I've tried to make it look like it just grew out of the ground, just a random nether portal just grew out of the ground, so that was the design I was going for, and it doesn't look that bad, and also if we go all the way over here, I have skeleton horses, so yeah, I almost had all four, but I actually killed one, which sucked, but I think I'm going to be selling two skeleton horses, because all I need is really one, but I don't know, am I, can I breed them actually? How do I breed horses to begin with? I never actually bred a horse in this game. Maybe I can keep two and see if I can breed them and maybe make a skeleton horse shop. That'd be interesting. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video, so let me just go out of spectator. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to ring that bell so you know about for future episodes. Subscribe to see more joining the army. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. TF signing out. See ya. Man, I really need to get some sleep.